strikes me. You need a clear understanding of what the objectives are that you want your pupil to achieve at the different key waymarks in their pupillage, be it starting second six, the end, or different monthly periods. Um, you need to have a clear understanding of how you're going to achieve those different objectives, and then you need to have a pupil who's receptive to receiving proper professional structured training. Pupillage at KCH is flexible, it's tailored to the individual needs of a pupil, it's structured, we set intended learning outcomes for a pupil at the beginning of each training cycle, and then we assess to ensure that they reach those intended learning outcomes, and it's empowering. Pupillage at KCH is about empowering a pupil to be the best possible barrister they can be, and we empower them through excellent quality training. Pupillage application marking at KCH has been on a blind marking basis now for a number of years. We were one of the first locally, as I understand it, to do blind marking not just where application markers don't see a name on an application, but also markers don't see the education institutions that different applicants have come from. Not seeing the name, the address, the location, the name of the education institution helps promote access to the profession as it removes any risk of unconscious bias, be it on social mobility, race, gender or other factors.